Where's Ellie this morning? Ah, there she is. What are you doing? Morning, guys. A bit steamy, I'm afraid. How are we today? Just trying, um, just got me Lumix for me. I forgot to bring anything else. Um, audio's in the camera as well, so hopefully we'll be okay. How are we doing all right? Sorry, I'm put the dog up for, um, I've got it on a tripod, sorry if it's a bit rattly. Um, yeah, so I haven't put a vlog up for a few days. <sighs> I've been a bit out of sorts, I'm afraid. I've, um, I've not felt with it the last few days. Ugh. I've had um, I've had a really funny stomach as well. <laughs> it's much, much better today. But, um, oh, I'm just getting some pains in my stomach. <laughs> um... As did Rick. I know Rick's had a bit of a bad tummy, so hope you're on the mend too as well, mate. Um, it's not very nice, is it? <laughs> so, uh, whether I had a bit of the old gastric flu or something, I don't know, but um, I have a very tender tummy. And uh, and the head and the anxiety is not been very good either. I've, um, I've been struggling this week. Seriously struggling this week. <laughs> I think I'm having withdrawal symptoms from coffee. <laughs> I think that's what the problem is. Because um, I drank far too much coffee. I was drinking coffee all the time. I would have a minimum of four cups, maybe eight cups in a day. And it's just one good at all. It's just, it's just giving me the jitters. So I um, <laughs> thought, no, I'm gonna cut out the caffeine. So um, that's what I'm doing now. I've gone decaffeinated. Hello. What have you got? Boop. I'm not for kicking that for you because don't want that stuck in your throat, do we? Hey, what's that? What's it? Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Let me um. Wait a minute. It's a clean one. Sorry. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> a bit of steaming up there. The um, camera was in the van overnight. <coughs> I noticed it's seven degrees today. <laughs> That's a significant difference from what it has been. It's about right for the time of year. But um, we haven't been used to it, have we? Not over here in the UK. We've had such a mild October. Um, it's just been silly. You know, it's been like 17 degrees, 18 degrees in October. Um, 1st of November today, 1st of Nov, 1st of Nov, and um, it's bloody cold. <laughs> I said this morning when I got up, I said, it's cold this morning, it's definitely cold this morning. I think we've had the heating on once so far, I think we could have done with it. It's, mind you, I, it might be just me where I've been feeling a bit under the weather, because um, nobody else felt cold, it was just me. <laughs> so perhaps it's my dicky tummy, perhaps it's my head. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it's my head. So I came into the woods this morning. Um, because I do find the woods and the fresh air of a nice pine woodland is very good for anxiety. So, um, if you're like me and you suffer the anxiety, um, which I seem to be suffering quite badly at the moment, unfortunately, um, then uh, have a go at some woodland, because it's very nice. Some machines working over there, if that's what you can hear in the distance. Oh, sorry about the rattling. It's a little tripod I've got the camera mounted on. Just um, trying to keep it quiet for you guys. Yeah, so I don't know whether there'll be a Scudo vid this week or not. Um, hopefully there will. But, uh, we'll have to see. Um, I may try and get away for a night, possibly this week. Um, if I can get away, then I'll try and do a vid for you guys. But, uh, 
obviously can't promise anything because I don't know how things are going to go. Got a new battery for this camera as well. Um, I thought I'd lost the other one. I was like, oh no, I lost my battery. So um, I had to buy another cheap one. I think you're steaming up again. Hold on a minute. Hopefully. There we go. Hopefully it's on the outside. Hopefully it's not on the inside of the camera. Um, this won't be very good. Never mind. Yeah, so I'm a bit waffly, guys. I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment. I just thought I'd... Uh... Oh, they're a plane up there, look. Little aeroplane. <coughs> yeah, so I'm a bit out of sorts, so yeah. I just felt it sticking the camera on having a chat with you guys, really. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Oh. Right, um, go for a walk a bit further and then I'll back to you in a minute. about coming out there really is oh, it really is so much better it's so nice to just get out in the woods it really is so nice oh lovely smell the trees are starting to look quite bare in places now aren't they notice that look the um the autumn leaves are falling, getting ready for winter. All right. I actually quite like the walks in the winter. It's um, <clears throat> it's quite nice. <laughs> they've been doing a lot of clearing up here. Um, see, they've been doing some paths and bits and pieces there. Look, see. Because all this, this woodland's all for sale, you see. Well, this side. There's, um, there's two sides to this woodland. This side's all for sale. This has all been split up into little bits. Um, that different people, or some people seem to have bought. <coughs> I don't know who owned it, I don't have no idea. But, um, you know what it's like now, everything's up for sale, isn't it? Hello, smelly. <laughs> Ugh, don't drink puddles dirty. <laughs> yeah, everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. They'll be selling the air next. The air will be for sale. Clean air. Well, well it's the next step, isn't it? You know, land and everything. It'll be, be air and water next. You'll be able to buy water at the um, highest price. <laughs> What's that he has done? He's found something over there. She spotted something. Oh, well, she thought she did. Probably a squirrel. Sorry about the rattling, guys. It's just flipping lanyard on the side of the camera. I must, um, I must cut it off. <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. Cool the autumn leaves. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Aren't they lovely colours? Hey, beautiful. Right, I'm going to um, go down this way and explore a bit more. See what I've spotted, look. There's, um, there's remains of an old lorry in there, look. <laughs> See that in there? Look. God, that's been in there a few years, isn't it? Blimey. these long forest tracks. See? <laughs> Just walk and walk. Listen to the birds. Oh, it's lovely. So nice. 
Yeah, this um, this is a recent road here. I would say they put this in about six months ago, so that um, whoever bought the bits of woodland, they um, they'd have access to them because this wasn't here. They uh, they came here with loads of loads and loads of hardcore and um, put a road right through the middle. <laughs> As you can see. <clears throat> there's the old footpath, um, and there's the other end of it. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, the road they put in cuts right through the middle of the footpath, <laughs> marked with the um, the yellow. So if you come up here when you're walking up here in the winter and it's quite overgrown, where people haven't been and they haven't trampled the path again, you um, you can follow the spots of paint on the trees. Then you can see where the path goes. <laughs> right, let's go down this way. Here we are. <laughs> oh, path's run out, look. Run out of road. This is where the footpath used to go through here. Um, oh. Somebody's put a hard standing down there. You can see where the tyre tracks have been. See the tyre marks have come in here. Yeah. Put a hard standing down here then. Oh look. He's brought some bricks in, by the looks of it. So he can park on it without it being all soggy. A nice wood pile over there. Very nice. We plant some shrubs through there. Look, see that? I'm ah, I'm guessing this used to be a footpath. Look, because that's not that's that was there before, and that through there as well. See, but they put that in its place and blocked it off. Yes, there was. There used to be a footpath through there. I can see it from here. And through there, look. See it through there as well. I think that's, I don't think that's right, really. I think if you're going to buy a piece of land, um, <laughs> you ought to divert the footpath, not just block it all off. I think that's a bit... Yeah, you can see where the footpath went down through here, look. And it's had a lot of use here. See this? There's a footpath down through here. Da 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 da. Bam. Oh. No longer get through. You know what I mean? So, um. Oh, that's a new sign. Dogs running free, apparently, now. Right, that's new. That wasn't there before. But as you can see, this is a very well trodden path. And, um. It's just shut off. <laughs> now, so you can't get through. Maybe. You can see it's a proper path, look. And he fenced it all off. It's a bit annoying, I think. Let's just go down here then. Can you go this way? See, people have been tricked. People have been walking this. See, there's no footpath now, see? It doesn't go anywhere. So now what they've done is block the path off so you can't get through. It's a uh, bit stupid though, I think. Let me put the fence down there. At least people can still use the path. People are going to want to go through here now. All the animals. You can have um, deer and stuff. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I thought I'd bring you along. Just need to get some air to clean my head.
No, I needed to get some air to clear my head, that's right. <laughs> so I've not been feeling very good really. Just a bit out of it, so I need some fresh air. Coming in waves at the moment, like, oh, I'm with it and then I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yes, get your bit of nature and um, guarantee you start to feel a bit better. So, love and night, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Have a good rest of the week. And um, I'll see you next week.